ahead and remove the propeller. And the seal looks pretty good. No fishing line around it. Remove all the uh, screws that hold the lower unit on. Now we're going to take this pressure gauge, this pressure pump uh, with a gauge on it here and uh, put pressure into the gear case. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start to put some pressure into the, the lower unit. There's 10 PSI. As you can see it's starting to drop. Started out with 10. We're now down to 5 PSI over a couple of seconds and you can hear it leaking somewhere around this area. Okay, this is the area that we could hear uh, the air pressure coming out so we've mixed up some uh, soapy or put some soap in a spray bottle here along with some water and we're going to pressurize the, uh, uh, the gear case and we're going to spray this uh, uh, soapy water mixture to see if we can get some air bubbles to help us pinpoint uh, the location of the leak. Okay, we're adding pressure into the gear case now. You can see the air bubbles. Also right here below, we've got air bubbles coming out uh, where the water intakes uh, are at on the side indicating that it is leaking um, through uh, uh, underneath the water pump. Now that we've got our leak narrowed down to, uh, to this water pump area, uh, we're just going to keep taking it one step at a time and go ahead and get this uh, housing uh, impeller pulled off. We definitely have it isolated to this area here. Um, 
on the drive shaft underneath the water pump uh, inside this base here we're going to go look up the uh, seals now we're going to go ahead and remove the base and take a look at our seals here sometimes a visual uh, you know really can't tell you if it's leaking like the pressure test does this o-ring here isn't fitting real well in the groove see that there but these are mainly the seals that we're we're looking at here a lot of corrosion around this area underneath the water pump base <clears throat> 